Hi there, okay. Um, this is uh, a piece of stone that we're going to be working with. Um, it's actually slate, uh, it's a metamorphic rock, which means that um, it changes over a period of time. Um, it wasn't formed with much heat and not too much pressure. And um, if you look along here, you can't see it very well, but it actually laminates or splits. In fact, you can see a, a line there. Uh, but we won't be using this side of the stone. Um, but basically that's it. This is a piece of slate. It doesn't look much. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to apply um, a white coat of paint on here. And then we're going to apply uh, the template on top of this. And then we're going to um, get some carbon paper. And we're going to draft out the design on the slate. Um, once we've done that, of course, we can remove the template and we can get on with the, uh, the process of actually carving it. So that's it for now. I'll get along and uh, get the paint on and um, I'll see you shortly. Thank you. So then, um, what I've done here is I have applied paint, you can see it on my finger, um, I've dabbed the paint in a uniform manner. The reason for doing this is so that I can see all of my lines. I used this paint and I'm, uh, I'm not working for the company I can assure you. But this is drying now and uh, once this is completely dry I can go along and uh, place our template on here and this other head incidentally, the missing one on this paper template, you can see I'll be replacing that so this is going to be like new once it's complete. But this is the piece we're working with and this is what we're going to turn this into hopefully. Okay, So I hope that's clear for you. Um, so this will go on here and uh, that's what we're working with. Okay, Thank you then. Hello again, right, um, let me take you closer to this. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit, but it won't be when we actually start the process. I've actually stuck um, the template down just at the top edges here so that I can fold this up. And the reason I've done that is so that I can um, apply some carbon paper underneath. So. I said on YouTube I've got two hands, but I've actually only got one because I've got the camera in my other hand, but we'll rectify that. So I'm going to place the carbon paper underneath, like so. And um, what I'm going to be doing once I put the carbon paper a little bit up here is drafting around all of these lines, everything on here in fact, um, until I have the whole piece covered. Um, and that'll be fun because if I miss pieces out then I'm going to obviously have to fill them in. And for those of you who are wondering, yes I could draw this out by hand but what is the point? Um, I've got a very good template here so and this is the original so I keep it all in proportion uh, without using um, calipers or anything. Uh, calipers by the way are grips that you measure sizes with on different things. Um, but there's no point, I've got this so make my job a little bit easier because I am doing it the hard way anyway, correct? Um, anyway, so I'm going to um, carry on getting this moved around and then I'm going to start drafting around these various different lines and at some point uh, introduce the missing dog's head in this area here. So um, I'll probably take a little bit of video um, while I'm doing that, a little bit later on, um, and that should then complete this first part. So you can see I've kept it to this edge as well. The reason I've done this here um, is so that I don't have too much material to move when I start chopping the actual whole shape out around here. You see that? Okay, um, so that's that done and um, I'll get drafting it out and uh, I'll see you soon.
this is um, actually quite difficult because you're on what looks like a very flat surface but it actually isn't so the outlines you have to be incredibly careful with it's not the end of the day if you make a mistake uh, since you can go over it again afterwards in pencil there's a lot of detail on this thing um, it really doesn't actually do it it's self credit and of course unless you've got the uh, the actual piece in your hand you're not really going to know how accurate you really are but with a little bit of painstaking time and a little bit of study you should be able to get a near enough accurate simile of the piece you're working with. So here's what I've just done there. You can see that I've just uh, gone around the ram's head and a little around what looks like a um, a big cat's head which actually snails down all the way down here underneath this circular object which is believed to be a um, an area where the king or deity would mix um, eye paint from uh, which would adorn his face probably in a ceremony of some sort it's hardly likely that something like this would get made um, purely just to be used uh, for, for anything less than something religiously functional. So there we have it, a few lines here. So now I'm going to carry on with this and it will take a long time um, and I'll get back to you uh, probably when I've done quite a large portion of this um, because you don't want to see me pencilling around. You know. um, and then I'll, I'll show you we'll add the head and we'll take it from there okay so that's what I'm doing now it's kind of painstaking kind of boring for, for, for a video and for some people to watch it so I'll just carry on and get this done and I'll catch it with you later thank you then